Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 20th to the 27th. I am Charlene and Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week, my loves. We've got, okay, the seven of, uh, oh, fuck. The seven of cups and the ten of swords, temperance, uh, the king of wands, the uh, six of pentacles, the eight of wands, the seven of, uh, four of wands, one, two, three, four, five, six, dude. Okay, let me get the rest of the cards here, baby. Yeah, you're gonna wanna sit down or, yeah. Okay, I mean, you guys, happy birthday, by the way. Should have said that in the beginning. Happy birthday to you. Um, but like, you guys are literally in this like self-inflicted mass transformation. And like, I almost wanna say destruction where you're like, I don't give a flying, you know what? I am no longer living in the energy of fear. I am no longer afraid to go what I, after what I want. I am no longer going to worry about other people's opinions, other people's perceptions. I am doing me. If you like it, awesome. You don't like it, okay? You got the eighth house here in astrology. It's your house, babe. It's your house, All right? I transform. It's Pluto. It's the hidden. It's sexuality. It's death. It's where we see other people's money, real estate. It also talks about inheritance, investments. It's fears. It's the occult. It's esotericism. It's where you get to tap into the scorpion energy on its highest, most powerful octave. And then we got cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. You're literally in this place where I'm like, I am done playing. I am the phoenix rising from the ashes and I am being me. And I don't care what gets destroyed along the journey. And then we got fear. And it says, I realize I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And I really feel like for many of you, you're like, I'm done being afraid. I'm done worrying. I'm done panicking. I'm done feeling like I'm not worthy of these things that I want. One of the most powerful women that I ever, ever got the opportunity to meet and work with is a Scorpio. And if you're watching this, you know who you are. Hello. Hi. She took my line course last year. And I'm going to share the story with you because I feel like you listening to this, you're going to be like, that's how I feel. That's who I, that's what I want. Like you're, you're going to resonate with it. Okay. So she came to me and took my line course. My line course is a nine week transformative course. I used to run it 12 weeks. It was a big thing. Um, and you can take the, the course in the description box below if you want. Anyways, all this to say, when she first, when we did our first session, which was our introductory session, because this was a very intensive, like a uh, one-on-one uh, course where we worked a lot one-on-one, -on -one, one of the things that she said to me was that you know, she felt really lost and stuck in her life. Like she knew she had a higher purpose. She knew she had, a, a, she knew, she knew she was supposed to be transforming into somebody like she could feel it inside, but she had no idea what it was. The first day that I met her and those first, like the uh, first month, the first two months that we worked together, she was quiet. She was um, meek. She was insecure. She was like afraid to come out of her shell. She was a shell of a person. And I remember looking at her and being like, you know, like who you are right now, that's not even you. And she was like, she, she knew it, right? She knew that that wasn't even her, but she had been so conditioned by her parents, by uh, society, by the color of her skin, by her environments, by how she grew up, by all of these external things that it almost felt like she wasn't allowed to be in her power, right? It felt like, it, she felt like she would get in trouble or didn't have permission to be herself. And as we took the course and as she learned each of the light laws, as we did our sessions together, and you get to do sessions with me as well if you take the course now, it's in the description box below. Um, one of the things she said to me, one of the things she she realized, she said to me, she's like, I'm, I'm finding myself. And I said to her, you're not finding yourself, you're remembering who you are. And in remembering who you are, that means you have to break free. You have to crack open. You have to hit rock bottom so that you can peel away the story of who you thought you needed to be so that other people would approve of you so that you could fit into society. It's like she literally peeled away this 
fake persona, these masks that she put on, and she found herself. And the more we worked together, the more she started coming out of her shell, the more she started wearing her hair like she wanted to. She's like, I've always wanted to wear my hair like this and I never have. And I'm like, why? And she's like, oh, because I was worried about what other people are going to say. And I'm like, girl, it looks great on you. And then the next time she came, she had on this beautiful, bold lip. And I was like, oh, excuse me. And she's like, I've always wanted to wear this. And I just, I feel like this is me, but I've been afraid. And so like every time, you know, she learned a light law, every session, she was becoming more and more and more herself. And that's what you're doing, babe. Like, I don't even need to look at the cards. I'm going to read the cards for you because I know you like the cards, but that's what you're doing this week. You're going, where the fuck have I been playing small? Where have I been letting other people tell me how to act, how to behave, how to show up? I'm fucking Scorpio. I get to transform as many times as I want to. It is my cosmic blueprint. And that's where you're at. See, you're like, here, here you are. Oh, I got all these choices, all these options, all these ways that I need to be. And then you're like, fuck this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done playing for other people. The Ten of Swords looks like pain and suffering, but really it's ending. It's an abrupt ending, but there's hope. See, because the sky is not black fully, right? The dawn of a new day is here. And what you're learning here and you're realizing here is that sometimes old you has to die so that new, new you can be born. Like every year when we go through our birth, right? Our, the day of our birth and you're in your birth month, you die and a new you is born. Another year, more time, more time, more knowledge, more experience, more wisdom. And here this week, you're realizing the beautiful balance, the ebb and flow, the connection that you have with source to make this magic happen in your life. And in doing so, not only do you get more confidence, more charisma, more power, like you start showing up in this divine essence of strength and resiliency and being able to get exactly what you want from this place of creativity and passion and fire and excitement and vigor. And what that does is instill more balance in your life. You start seeing what needs to go. You start seeing where you need to give. You start working through that beautiful balance and that receptive energy with the universe. And the more that you do that, my love, the faster, the faster with this eight of wands that you reach this peak of celebration, of happiness, of joy, of hitting a landmark or a goal that you desire, right? Where you get to enjoy and relish in what you've created in your life. This is one of the most powerful readings that I've done for this week. This is like, you know, it could be because we're on the off that new moon in Scorpio on the 14th or 13th. It could be because... We have Mars and uh, the sun in Scorpio. And there's all these things that it could be. But really, at the bottom of it all, it's you. You did this. You made this happen. Now, you got Anne Morgan as your amulet, a black onyx and black tourmaline. And Anne Morgan is the goddess of death, war, and prophecy. That's too many. Can I just get three, please? Right? She's probably showing you through crows, through ravens, how to step into your power. That it's time now for you to reclaim your power, to fight for what you desire, and co-create the reality that you've always, always wished you could have. Now, if you want to book a session with me, if you want to take my course, it's our pickup and Morgan, it's in the description box below, all right? For some of you, you can even learn how to be a tarot reader, take astrology. Like, there's so many things here that you are finally stepping into your, like, spiritual purpose. The devil, very soon, yeah. Even letting go of the stories that you are not worthy of love. Even letting go of the narrative that, like, you are undeserving of romance, past life relationship, queen of wands. We got a pair here. Some of you are working through some deep, deep shit in order to attract your divine partner. And we got trust here showing up with the page of wands. Yeah, trust the process. Ace of cups at the bottom. Beautiful. You are trusting this process of transformation. You are shifting your entire life. And you should be so proud of yourself 
for that, okay? I'm gonna pop this video here to help confirm whether or not you're going through a breakthrough, because I think you are. And if you wanna book a session, take my amulets, or buy my amulets, whatever. Any way you wanna support me, it's in the description box below, all right? Or work with me, okay? Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out.